All right, guys, back with my dollar bin pickups from the card show. I actually found this dollar bin like right around the time I was about to leave the show and just started kind of rummaging through a few of the cards, saw a few cards I liked. So I figured maybe I'd get like a dozen cards from there or so. And instead of a dozen cards, I end up with this many cards. Isn't that how it always goes though? But thankfully, the guy gave me a deal at the end, so it ended up being less than a dollar a piece. So let's just start rolling through some of these. Picked up this Yankee autograph. Do not remember who that guy is at all, Andy Canizaro. But I figured maybe Jerome could use this because he's always trying to get like every Yankee ever or a nice card of every Yankee ever. So picked that up. Already got in contact with him. He said he could use it, so going to send that to him. I got some inserts. How about this one? Zombie Collector. Do you need that one? Hit Dale Nomo. Really cool insert. So I picked up two of those. Also picked up the Albert Bell from that set. I had picked this one up before, but the one I had was kind of damaged. This one is in much better shape. Another one of these stained glass inserts, but these are from a few years later. I think these are from like 2000. The other ones were like early 90s. That nice big hurt. Got some of these inserts. Select stars. Dennis Eckersley. So as usual, I just kept rummaging through that bargain bin and kept adding a bunch of random stuff to the stack. We got Robbie Alomar and George Brett sliding in. Nice Edgar playing third base. Love the cards of him playing third base because obviously... There aren't a lot of them. Spent most of his career as a DH. How about this one here? Pepino Man. Ken Griffey Jr. Promotional card. I know Pepino likes all that promotional sample type stuff. Chris from the broadcast might like that too. Cause it's a catch at the wall. Or Teddy Googs because it's a Griffey. Here's another one. This one's from Front Row. I've never seen that one. It's also a promo card yeah another promo card Ripken so again I just picked those up because Pepino might like them so let me know Pepino I'll give you first dibs on those this one I'm definitely keeping though another Ripken here that's a sweet one from Leaf the Fractal Matrix Parallel really cool shine of that one And pick these up here, these Jason Varitek cards. It's kind of weird. You don't really see a lot of people picking up his cards. Like for some reason, he doesn't get a lot of hobby love from the Red Sox guys. Obviously, seeing him all those years playing against the Yankees. Got some respect for him. Really solid player, switch hitter. Good leader on the field. Again, it's just kind of weird how he doesn't get a whole lot of hobby love. Picked up this Cliff Lee. Not a rookie, but card from early in his career. Nice die cut. He was a really dominant pitcher for like a handful of years. And Dustin and Blake might want this one, but this one's going to be tough to get for me. This Tory Hunter rookie from Score, the Gold Rush version. It's in really good shape too. Like A lot of times these gold parallels are like all chipped up and dinged up, but... That one's in pretty solid shape. So I might put that in the rookie card box. Picked up a couple Paul O'Neill rookies for a buck. I'll take that any day. Or how about a Rock Reigns rookie for a buck? So a lot of nice stuff in there. Some random old stuff. Nolan Ryan, J.R. Richard. Dave Winfield. And I gotta say, a lot of this guy's older stuff is also in really good shape you can tell he really took good care of his cards hope I find that guy again next time I was already kind of regretting that I didn't buy more stuff from him got an 83 Ripken as you see a lot of cool variety of stuff got an 84 strawberry 89 upper deck Biggio he had a bunch of these I tried to find the one that was in the best shape Picked up a Jay Bruce Bowman Chrome rookie. Not a future Hall of Famer or anything, but he had some good home run seasons. Picked up this Nomar 
Craftsman. If any of the Nomar guys want that, let me know. Number to 3,500. Got a Pedro, thankfully not in a Red Sox uniform. I like a lot of these old like Leaf and Donruss parallels. The Fractal Foundation. That one's at a $39.99, which was pretty high numbered even back then, but still a very cool card. I even got a couple relic cards in there. Got this Drew Henson, who the Yankees acquired twice, but never really did anything. Still a pretty cool relic card for a buck. Got another one from that same set, So Taguchi, for Zombie Collector's Japanese collection. I always find some cool Japanese player cards for Zombie at those card shows. But yeah, that's going to be it for the baseball. I'm going to do the other sports in a separate video because I don't want to rush through any of these. But I also don't want to make a 20-minute video that nobody's going to watch. So I'll do the other stuff sometime soon.